Okay, team, we're going to be building a house in a cave. In a wow. cave? Wow. 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 Where to put wow. everything? Uh, who'd want to live there? You know Mr. Ellis at the Bobsville Museum? Well, it's for his friend, Mr. Beach. I got the idea from this picture, Dizzy. Bob and I have been up to the mountains already and found the perfect cave. Hello, Bob the Builder. Hello, Bob. Mr. Ellis here. Young Mr. Beach is on his way over to you now. He's an expert on cavemen, you know, so he's awfully excited about having his own cave house. And I'm excited about building it. Goodbye, Bob. Bye. Hey there. Hello, all. Mr. Beach, meet the team. This is Wendy and Scoop, Muck, Dizzy, Rolly, and Lofty. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mr. Beach. Yes, and Scrambler you've already met. Yeah. Sandy's been telling me about the mountains. They sound like the wickedest place ever for off-roading. Sandy? <laughs> oh, it's sort of my nickname. You know, beach, sand. Sandy Beach! <laughs> I get it! <laughs> well, we better get started. I'll stay here and make the window frames and the door, but I'll see you all later. Let's head off. <laughs> minute, Scrambler. Let me show Sandy his cave first. Looks wonderful, Bob. Ew, but it's all gray and gloomy. Couldn't you have some color somewhere? <laughs> well, this is how cavemen would have lived. Yeah, uh, but wouldn't you like one little thing to brighten <laughs> it up? Maybe all gray is kind of dull. A little color might be nice. Yeah. Colorful from Wendy. What? You can go off roading when you get back. Yeah, all right. Now, we'll lay the wooden floor first. We'll need to put down cross beams and then floorboards. That looks great, Bob. Okay, now for that wall. Why have you come back? I need something colorful for Sandy's cave. Oh, uh, colorful. Yeah, 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 anything. Oh, um, oh, I know. I've got just the thing packed away in the storeroom. Well, hurry up, Wendy. I'm running out of off-roading time. Ah, this rug used to be my auntie's. It's quite old, and it's got lots of colors on it. Aces! Scream to the mountains! Scoop and Muck, we'll need a trench along the front to make a foundation. No problem, Bob. Let's get muddy. Then we'll collect rocks and boulders. Lofty, you can help me with the big ones. Um, okay, Bob. Dizzy, can you mix some cement? Coming right up, Bob. Oh, this looks really exciting, Bob. It's so different. But it's still really gray inside. Uh, no problem. Uh, I've got it. <gasps> oh, it's brilliant. Uh, well, yeah, it's very nice. But? But I don't think it'll really work in a cave. Oh, man. Why not? I know it's old, but it's not quite old enough. I'm not going to have to go back and get something else, am I? I'm afraid so, Scrambler. Aww, all right. Scrambler, uh, I thought you were going off-roading. So did I, but Sandy said the rug isn't old enough. Oh, um, wait, I know. Oh, man, what is that? <laughs> It was my granddad's garden gnome. So it's even older than Auntie's rug. Awesome!
What's the matter? Bob! Mr. B! You gotta get out of here! This cave is full of monsters! Monsters? Then we better take a look. But, but... Oh, man! Oh! oh look! Cave paintings! So they're not monsters? No, Scram. They're, they're paintings made by cavemen. Probably thousands of years ago. Um, why did they paint them? Well, the pictures are kind of the story of their life. It's like a thousand-year-old diary painted on the wall. Oh, brilliant! This is how cavemen decorated their caves. Oh, it's a shame I can't have something as beautiful on my walls. Now that would be perfect for a cave house. That means your cave house can be full of colors. Well, I better get going. We still have to finish your front wall. <sighs> oh, man! Pretty scary, too. You were very brave, Scrambler. So brave, I think you should spend the rest of the afternoon off roading. Oh, yeah! That'll be great! But I have something to do first. Those cave paintings have given me an idea, and I'm gonna need Wendy's help. Oh, thanks, Travis. Bye! Yeah. Those cave paintings are the best I've ever seen. Perhaps we could turn that cave into, well, into a museum. People will come for miles to see the paintings. Hello, everybody. Uh, what's that, Wendy? <laughs> You'll see. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Something else colorful? Ta-da! What do you think, Mr. B? Now you have your very own cave paintings. Only these ones aren't scary. There's you and Bob, Muck. Oh, it's perfect. Just the right thing for a cave. Yes! Oh, what a day! I've got a new home, a team of new friends, and thanks to Scrambler, it looks as though I might be getting my very own museum. And who knows? Maybe in a thousand years, someone will discover these cave paintings.